Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our evening edition of Sharing Saturday. Whew, it has been an incredibly long, long day. So I'm not going to be on long. It's our second Sharing Saturday of 2021. Just wanted to jump on for a few minutes. Um, share a little bit about today and its experiences and just move from there but um hope that you all are it's day nine of our it's day nine of our 2021 new year and not sure if you're still trying to figure out where you are where you're going what's happening excuse me i'm fumbling and dropping things or or not but just want you to stay encouraged today we were honored to be able to be participate with um, some other community leaders and they had a gathering and just saying how much they appreciate community leaders for all the work that they do sometimes <clears throat> Some people, when they're doing community service work or they're out in a community, if they are not, if they're not some big name person, they sometimes they feel like they're left out. And so <clears throat> this was definitely a celebration to definitely a celebration to um, honor people who are doing things um, in the community that. Are making a difference in the lives of others so today we we're one of those people definitely always excited to be able to be a part of anything honoring or celebrating the work that we do I'm extremely tired I have been gone all day and so again I just wanted to get on because it's sharing Saturday and I wanted to read what the certificate said so it says um here is a certificate, first of all. And just the words that it says, it says, Certificate of Outstanding Leadership awarded to the BLAC Foundation. Thanks for the love, passion, accountability, and support. Leaders like you make the world and our community a much better place. In this new year, may God bring you into blessings and fruitfulness. And so with that, I'm just honored because a lot of times when you are out in the field doing work or community service acts or things of that like we do with our nonprofit, we're not looking for applause. We're trying to make people aware of childhood cancer and get that attention out to make sure that people are um, doing what they need to do to help support our causes. And so when we get phone calls, asking us can we be a part of or that they're doing an event such as this one and they would like for us to be one of the honorees we are super excited and i'm honored always because at the end of any given day it's the life the love the legacy that my son left behind and so everything we do is in honor of his memory but for the families who are currently going through what we went through for those three years of his life only to um for him not to be here anymore so just wanted to share that jump on share that for sharing saturday and simply you know do our spill like we always do who we are the caleb solomon williams foundation affectionately doing business as blac foundation blac is caleb's name spelled backwards it's an acronym that stands for believe every life acquires cure we are a nonprofit childhood cancer foundation that loves 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 to raise awareness first and foremost we advocate and support for those families who are battling and or affected by childhood cancer we provide financial assistance back to those families and i'm um, sad to say that in the event that a child passes away we have tlc connect which is talia's legacy and caleb solomon william foundation to put together and we bring a support group where parents and or caregivers can connect and just share and talk about things that um, are going on in their lives, how they're feeling after the fact, 
different things. We do do community, um, we do do um, gatherings or what do you call it? We do do like events for um, the group, the connect we call it. We don't want you to think it's a group or like a, um, like a membership or anything of that. Yes, we are because we've lost our children to cancer at a young age, but we call it connect because we're just connecting with each other to make sure that we're good, we're okay, no matter how many years it's been. And so we, um, we go out and have outings. That's what it is. We typically do it quarterly, but because of COVID, we have not been doing them, but we're still having our monthly connects, which are every month, um, on Zoom, via Zoom. So if you know a parent or and or a caregiver who has lost a child, the ages zero to 19 with, with cancer, then definitely hook, um, connect them with us. We would love to talk to them. We would love to um, continue to encourage them through their loss. Um, let them know that they're not alone. Um, and just be that um, beacon of light that someone can talk to. And even though we all have lost children to cancer, it doesn't mean that we understand or know the other story or how they're feeling, but we can connect in some way because we had to go through some of the similar challenges. So that's who we are, what we do. We have an email that we sent out monthly, <clears throat> just updating you or sharing different things that are going on, how we need your support, what we're doing. We just sent that email out on Monday. So if you did not receive it, that means you're not on our email database. And if you would like to be on our email database, excuse me, if you would like to be on our email database, just simply email us at Caleb Williams 201 at yahoo.com. I don't have any of my little papers that I usually hang up because I'm going to make this live short. <laughs> um in order to get to bed early but um we just want you to continue to be a change agent be um aware of childhood cancer support our cause share on your facebook or instagram page we have facebook we have youtube we have Instagram and our YouTube channel is simply these lives that you see. Um, before I took a drink of water, I was about to say <laughs> we have our Giving Tuesday, which is each and every Tuesday. We ask you to, we challenge you to donate $7 or more, but the minimum is $7. And so last week, Tuesday, well, this week, Tuesday, because today is just Saturday, we had an incentive. So nobody did jump in on the incentive if they wanted to. Nobody jumped in. We did get donations. So again, as I said on Awareness Wednesday, we're so thankful for those of you who took part in our Giving Tuesday, which is every Tuesday. Then we have Awareness Wednesday. And so Awareness Wednesday is just like giving, sharing Saturday because we just make you aware of things that are going on, childhood cancer, but other businesses and organizations. Um, my son has a detailing business. Um, I'm going to post, I think I already posted on our Instagram, but I'm going to share it again on our Facebook today because it's sharing Saturday. Won't be doing a lot of sharing Saturday today because again, um, the event was super, um, it was a good event, but it, uh, after the event, I was tired. I still had other errands and things to do. So we won't be sharing a lot of those businesses and organizations that we partner with and that partner with us. We hope and pray to get back on track. I'll try to share as many as I can, but like right now, if you can see me stretching my eyes, that mean I am sleepy. It's time for shower and bed, but I did not want to let the night go away because I had been saying that for 2021, I need to make it a, a point of making sure that I don't miss our sharing Saturdays for those who see our, who, who miss our lives or don't um, get to scroll. Sometimes these lives are better because you can always go back and view them. And so that's why we put them on YouTube where you can catch up with any of the lives that you've missed that we've done. And so with that, it's Sharing Saturday. We love you. We thank you. Um, I hope that you had a spectacular Sharing Saturday. I hope that you were able to not just share um, about childhood cancer, our Facebook or Instagram page or any of that, but that you were able to do share something with someone else. I not only was able to go attend this um, great 
great um award ceremony or just great um honoree event but i was able to contact some of my seniors and make sure they were okay i was able to just do the things that i needed to do all on sharing saturday and so that's what it's all about sharing love for the things that matter to you in your circle and then reaching out and helping others to know um at this event where so so many of us were being honored for the outstanding work that we do in the communities where we live, work, and play, um, was able to meet some amazing people that I know it was just a blessing from God for us to meet and interact with and definitely um, looking forward to the partnership that is soon to come from what we've from the people that we met today. So super excited about that and everything that goes on. But again, make sure that you're sharing our, um, if you're here on Facebook, you're seeing our lives, you're seeing our posts, you're seeing our sharing Saturdays. Um, if you have a business or organization and you have, I understand with COVID going on, a lot of people aren't doing a lot of things, but if you have any specials or discounts or things that you would like us to share, make sure you inbox us, email us, or friend request us at be like Williams, which is our page where you can also tag us when you have events or things of that nature where you wouldn't be able to do it on this page. So again, thank you in childhood Lance, in childhood cancer land and beyond for supporting our cause for loving, not just me, but the organization. And thank you for helping me to honor the life, the love, and the legacy that my son Caleb gave. Um, he's definitely missed. He would be 16 this year, July. And so, um, again, as I always say, it never gets old. I always have so many different feelings <clears throat> when I think about how old he would be and where he would be and things of that nature. But I'm super honored and proud to have been his mom, to be um, able to fight the journey with him, but not even that now. The baton that he has given me that I won't drop, that I'll continue to make sure that I'm doing my part to help make people aware of childhood cancer. So thank you and good night.